Hello everyone and welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Marina and today I'm going to be solving a problem for your PE transportation exam. So let's go ahead and get started. A certain signalized intersection has the following characteristics. Signal cycle length C equals 2 minutes. At approach A, the green time phase duration D sub P equals 80 seconds. Yellow plus all red time equals 20 seconds. Startup loss time L1 equals 2 seconds, clearance loss time L2 equals 4 seconds. Given that the maximum number of vehicles on approach A that can traverse the intersection during green time is 1,450 vehicles per hour per lane, the capacity of approach A at the intersection is most nearly. So we're talking about interrupted flow. Um, interrupted flow and uh, we are talking about signalized intersections so we're going to be looking in our uh, highway capacity manual uh, volume 3 and we're going to look at equation 19-3 uh, just a reminder, this equation is not available in our NCES uh, ha reference handbook. Uh, this is equation gives us the effective green time. So the equation says that G equals D sub P, which is the phase duration, minus L1 minus L2. So let's input these values. We have that our effective green uh, time is going to be equal our phase duration, which is 80 seconds, minus our startup loss time, which is 2 seconds, minus our clearance loss time, which is 4 seconds. So we have that our effective green time will be 74 seconds. Um, now we're going to be looking at some definitions in our highway capacity manual, uh, volume 3, and we're going to look at page 19-12. The highway capacity manual defines uh, capacity as the maximum number. So it is the uh, maximum number of vehicles uh, that are expected to pass through an intersection uh, under signalization's condition during a 15 minutes period. Uh, also, the highway capacity manual defines that the capacity is equal um, the product of the saturation flow, okay, times the ratio uh, of effective green to cycle. So uh, our effective uh, green time divided by our our signal cycle length. This equation is not available in our highway capacity manual as as an equation displayed, but um, it is written, and you can um, read the manual when get to this equation. Let's input these values. So we have the hours uh, flow is going to be 1,450 vehicles per hour per lane times our effective green time that we calculate in 74 seconds divided by our signal cycle length C. We have that this is two minutes, so let's convert this to seconds, we got 120 seconds, 120 seconds, seconds cancel seconds, and we're going to see that our capacity at um, intersection, uh, at the approach A, at the intersection, is going to be um, 894.16, so this is approximately a 895 so we find that option a is the correct answer thank you and i see you next time